Rising like a beacon above the treetops, a Celtic cross greets visitors at the entrance to this monastery in the desert. What's maybe unusual about us is that traditional monasteries just have men or just have women. Father Henry Capteville sits in front of the Holy Trinity Monastery that he helped to build back in the 70s. He says here they welcome those in search of a different kind of escape. Some people are looking just to get out of the rat race, to find some peace and solace. Some people are, are uh, seeking God and they want to, to experience that silence where, where God is. Here in the monastery garden is surely where God is, with roses blooming in exquisite colors and birds hovering and looking just as vibrant as the flowers. If people uh, come and want someone to speak to, then that's something that's available to them also. Often they want to just come and be here to have some time to think and to just be alone. Carol Klein was one of those people. Today, she and her husband live at the monastery. For me, this was always a place that felt really, really real. Winter visitors are also a part of monastery life. They'll work all day long for the monastery, volunteering their time, and then they eat in the dining room with the monks. All around the property, there is a serene beauty. Simple rooms with no phones or televisions look out on open ponds. Hospitality is one of the, the hallmarks of Benedictine spirituality. And so this monastery was built with the vision of being a kind of a center of spirituality for all of the people in Southeast Arizona. 